It's that time of year you hear a lot about love languages. It is February the 2nd. Well, right here on Coco, food is one of our love languages. This is no joke. Well, St Chef Steve Harden from the Escoffier School of Culinary Arts in Boulder is in the Coco Kitchen today, and he is going to have some fun with Valentine's Day entrees. Good morning to you, Chef. Good morning, Claudia. Thank you for having us. Yes, I've always said food is a love language. It is a good date. It's a good way to have somebody kind of think the world of you if you know how to cook. Would you say that's pretty true? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. It's a great way to communicate your emotions through flavor, through presentation, through art, yeah. through all of these different things that we can really easily share something with, with, our, with our loved ones. Yeah. And, you know, let's get right to it. Teach me how to make heart-shaped empanadas. This is something you guys do. And yes. I, I love empanadas, first of all, but I've never seen heart-shaped ones. Oh my goodness. Wonderful, wonderful. So let's dive wonderful. in I here. And Claudia, yes. you got your party hat on. Woo, yes. So already done here in the skillet, we have pork and green chili, okay. some diced potatoes, a little bit of cotija cheese as well, a little bit of salt and pepper. Very simple, uh -huh. very basic, but packed full of flavor. Okay. So what we did is well, I actually just took uh, simple store-bought empanada wrappers okay and from any so craft store just cookie cutter anymore. just cookie cutters will do the trick okay correct exactly and so all we do is take a couple spoons here okay and we're gonna put our filling oh yum how much is enough because I've made the mistake of right. putting too much filling and then I can't close the thing you have to I've actually experienced that as well <laughs> okay. you have to trust the dough actually okay. and so you can make your own then there's a lot of different factors there but when if we get a product that's done by the experts mm -hmm. it's gonna be a little bit easier so we have to know that the dough is going to stretch so okay. we take a little bit of egg wash and then we take our second one, and what I have noticed is if you really just kind of press it really, really hard. Really hard on the All the edges. way around. I like okay. to start here and work forward. Okay. We can really press and keep that filling in. Here's where Got comes the hard it. part. And so we just, as I said, trust the dough. Yeah. Squish that through. Now here comes the hard part that I'm gonna challenge you for, uh -oh. is we squeeze, pinch, twist, and fold. Oh, if you boy. can, if you want to try to it's attack It's no that. longer going to be a okay. heart. <laughs> I'm just warning you. We can work you. with it. Again, trust okay. the dough. It's pliable. Oh, no. We can, I'm already. Okay. Pinch and just then. Just kind of pinch and twist and keep working your way around. Okay. That works. Picture like a pie crust. Um, really any sort of pocket dough. Oh, my god! We can okay. put a savory filling. You can put a sweet filling in it. We can add sugar. We can add cinnamon. Okay. Okay. Anything Beautiful. really. Absolutely anything. Now I've done this before, Chef, and then it came apart when it came time to putting it in the oven. Because is that where it goes next? Yes, oh, that's just okay. we, we can work through it. We okay. can work through it. So like he's already redoing Really, you it. just nah. Really, you just squeeze. <laughs> trust yes, your fingers. You are. Trust your fingers. Okay, okay, okay. Trust the dough. If we're gonna deep fry these, we might want them to set and rest just slightly. Maybe okay. we can rest them in the fridge as well. Okay. Oh, so, I'm we, afraid that is no longer a We get a chance to do those. Heart. That's right. We'll put those there. Yeah, it's going to work. That it's is the work state of heart. Texas right now. <laughs> this works. This is going to work. And so we're going to go into a okay. 350 degree oven approximately okay. for about 20 to 25 minutes. And we okay. get these absolutely awesome. Oh, my gosh. Look at those. Baked empanadas. How cute Okay. And I did that? a couple different techniques for crimping. Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. Yep. And so we can, pardon my reach here, Claudia, sorry. No, 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 go ahead. You are at home. Okay. Our, our odd numbers, super important, especially on a date. You want to offer your yes. date the last one. Okay, mm -hmm. we can't necessarily, it's like a chicken wing. You can't split the last chicken wing. That's so right, that's we're gonna, right. We don't want to fight over it. We're going to offer it to our date. We have a chipotle, that's a chipotle crema, essentially crema. Wonderful. And chipotle and adobo and a little top of cotija cheese. Okay, now th the sauce looks and smells wonderful. Okay, Thank Chef, you. here is the question. If yes. somebody wants to learn how to do this, somebody mm -hmm. really wants to learn more about cooking, Tell me about the classes going on right now at the, at the Escoffier School of Culinary Arts and what can they do to sign On top up? of being a formal culinary school where one can enroll and pursue their degree, we also have our Home Cook and Home Cook Enthusiast Series. Okay. So Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays and Mondays, uh -huh. guests for a nominal fee can come into the professional environment and get actual instruction from okay. professional chef instructors. Love it. We even have something I thought of um, to mention, our sushi class is coming up this Saturday. Oh, my my daughter before, love that, okay. Uh, 
before Valentine's Day. So that could be a good date. That could be, Lots and, and you know what they say about sushi, it is a sexy, sexy meal. So that would be a good one. Chef, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having us. Fantastic. Okay, well, these are so much fun to make for Valentine's Day. And for more great recipes that are budget friendly, head on over to the website. It is copork.org. And there you could talk to Chef and learn about the classes that they offer.